Be right back though. Sorry about that, didn't mean to. There we go. No, you won't see car. So, hello everybody, welcome to the set of friends AF3 practice race or non qualifying race. This race won't affect death standings as it's meant to be a race that points won't count although we are running this race just you know to no you won't get caught not now car will come later on qualifying so how's it sound does everything sound all right do i sound all right is the volume all right all right all right all right should point out as well that we are racing in Washington DC, the track that's around the capital. Well, now practice is ending, hopefully Everything is alright, and you can hear me well. Thank you for the feedback, banana. What, banana, 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 zero, zero, four. So, yeah, right now they're out, out on the practice, they have a minute twenty left. And they have to be doing more laps because the track grip it's not that great right now. It's at 96%. Usually it would be understandable to have around 98 to 100. If you wanna be with the optimum amount of grip. As of right now, the lap times are looking not that great. It's still uh, over the two minutes mark. We should expect laps around 156, 55 maybe, or even less, even more. It depends. And today I shall also point out that we won't have any on-track cameras. We will only have on-board because if you try and use track cameras, the game will crash. So yeah, not the best, but it's far from the worst. Okay, and checking if everything is alright. To its spectators, it's alright. It's a practice race. Although the admins wanted me wanted me to stream it, 
think it's gonna be a fun race. It's a fun track. This car behaves quite well. This combo is really, really good. You might hear the cars around the laps. Don't mind them. It's just practice. Who has just which has finished just now. And we are now wait time for practice to be over. As I said, practice is ending right now. We will get some footage when we go into qualifying. Today we won't have do that many racers. We only we will only probably get nine drivers today. And practice just ended. Still a minute and a half left until the qualifying starts so we might expect some battles uh, going through the first corners the first corners are terrifying to be honest it's really really terrifying because the first corner is a right Ha a 90 degree right heading towards a 90 degree left and then you go towards a chicane which if you mess up it will have bad results for you at least and that's not including going too wide through those corners because it's gonna be hard Let's go now live as qualifying just starts. Let's try and get the free camera and see who exits, it, exits the pit first as we go live. And everyone is getting out of the pits. And yeah, we have a new sponsor today. Following SAP hosting, we get Beam ID. New sponsor that we get today. And will start working with us for the remainder of probably the whole season. Let's go on board with the guy who's at the most at the front. I redacted that's going around now after the first sector. You'll see now that this track sometimes will be really narrow and really wide. As you see on your screen, there are two QR codes that will lead you to the shop. The QR code on the left is the for iOS users and the one on the right for Android users. Really fast going right now, now heading towards a slow right hairpin. Seems like Relat is being caught up to by white skin. Oh, it seems like there are some skins missing. My bad. As Relat is now being followed, yeah, by Towa Potobu. Seems like I have some old skins, but I don't know why some of them work, some of them don't. 
Really weird. He comes right towards the finish line, but he crashes into the wall. As he goes now into the first corner, now towards the second corner, really, really too fast into it. Let's go into Wapotobo, who seems to have just touched Iridated on the exit of the corner. Now heading towards this chicane right here, and you have to slow down. He's going really, really safe, to be honest. Now, two left corners that are really fast. Um, maybe it's up in the air since this track can be. Yeah, this is a practice race. This is a practice race. Probably Redacted might be on top, but don't take that for granted since the championship winners have been up on top always. No, 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 don't worry, don't worry. This is a. Uh, this does not come to the championship. This will be a practice race. Well, no, it doesn't take any points. Let's just say that. Those QRs will lead you to the new sponsor of a set of friends. It's Beam. Those QR codes, if you use it on your mobile phone, will lead you to their shop or their app. Thank you, thank you, community in racing. Yeah, now we have two sponsors. We have Zap Hosting and we have Beam. As the Wapotobo will round up the last corner and will be a 203, really, really slow. As Josh Brooks does a. No, never mind. Diego Dom does a 0 1. No, never mind. Fail now to a 0 0.8. He's falling really, really close to main he's. Oh, it's Tommy. Thank you for the follow, Tommy. Thank you for the follow. Oh, that's the other park there and probably will go into the pits. Yes, he is. As Fayel goes wide and Ben Hees will take second place. Seven tenths away of Fayel. Probably being his will be on another time lap. Let's see what times he sets in the first sector. He does not improve and it's not purple. So he will not improve his lap time but not also get the pole position. Let's check on Digodom who just exited the pit. I believe yes he is into the end of the first sector. Josh Brooks will not improve as well. To a turbo is actually improving I remember that you got uh, Tommy you had some problems trying to pronounce to pronounce his name if I remember <laughs> yeah it's Towa Potobo <laughs> I mean you used to call me Jan too you know so Toba Potobo will be improving on his first setter, but will not improve in his second setter. Will it be enough to get himself to P4? I don't believe so. Yeah, it seems to be like a, quite a slow lap. He does improve as Josh will also too to P3 with a 201.6 as Ben his will also improve with a 201.4 from Spain. I'm from Spain. No, not Spain without the S. I'm from Spain. Let's go back on top with Fail. Fail's doing really good laps around. The track's not 
still not around 98%, which is will be the called the optimum, and not even close to 100%, which in which most of the times will be under two sec two minutes. Sorry, Fael is still improving as Josh Brooks goes back into the pits. Yeah, it's a long track for these cars. As I said, Fayou. Oh, there he goes, Daniel with 2.1.2. Goes up to P2, only 3 tenths away from Fayou. Yeah. Yeah, pretty much. The guys in the Discord, if, which, if you haven't joined, Go check out also of Discord server, discord.com slash asset of friends. They quite know me for swearing. Not on stream, just overall. Anyway, reminder that this is a practice race. This race will not take any in, in count any points for the championship. Uh, Stowa Potowa will finish his lap going P5 as Ben Hees will take P1 and Fahil is only one millisecond away whoa what he's only one millisecond away from Ben Hees pole position what what's that about uh, Stowa Potowa will go back into the bit so Ben Hees has taken pole position not yet, this is not decided, but by one millisecond. Uh, this has never happened before. Yeah, pretty much. I mean, we don't have three drivers, but we have two who are almost, well, no. 1997 European Grand Prix was three divers with the same time at the same second. So it was each the same time. But the one who did it, who made that lap first, was the one who would be at the lead on pole position. Now, Ben Hees will not improve from his first setter as he goes a bit wide, but probably will still improve. No, we're, um, we're not probably going to get a 1998 Belgian Grand Prix first because it's not in the rain. And also it's got AFO, like God Ray Hitter has just pointed out. Thank you very much. Time has passed. No time remaining as Ben Hees will improve by one tenth actually on his second sector. Will he improve it even more? I believe this is might be the first time will be that will be under two minutes. And he does improve but does not go under the two minute barrier. Ben he will take probably pole position. Let's check on Danny if he's going to improve. He is improving the first set so although he's half a tenth away. You'll get two minutes and a half probably, so you better hurry up. If you want to join. Going through that is really hard part to get right if you want to get the maximum edit speed. He does nail it, so this might be a pole position, but I'm not too sure. Yeah, it's not going to be. Maybe it will be no. I do believe he's gonna stay P3, but not that far away, maybe half a second from Ben He's lap time. As he goes a bit wide in the last corner, will it be enough? It will not be, and that's the end of qualifying. So, it will be Ben Hughes from Fahil, Danny Diego Dom, Josh Brooks, Towa Perturbo, Idredated, and Cano. So, eight drivers today at the first race and remember that we have two races so the first race of the day will be with the grid at is it as it stands right now 
and the second race will be with the reverse grid so if you join now you'll get pole position at the second race let's go into the start grid who, which is just ahead here Hopefully you'll like our banner right here. <laughs> and the grid should start around right there on the on our screen. So track hasn't gripped up to one hundred percent but it will still be good enough. If you stop to the pits, actually, you'll be ahead because the pits are over the line. They are down there. Do you see? The pit is right there, but the start is right here. So, that might be an advantage. Here we go, onto the grid, 20 seconds left. Seat slides coming out now. One, two, three, four, five, six lights. And lights up and away we go. Great start from Benhis, but also a great start from Fayil there. He, maybe he will try to defend right here. There we go. As they all go through clean through, through the first and second corner. Let's head towards now the chicane. Will it be great m maneuver from everyone? Looks like it, and uh, we're still really clean. Oh, what's that about? Oh, Digodom, who just crashed into the Danier. Oh, and Tobo Tobo will seize up and take that challenge. Thank you very much. Maybe trying to take that place, but just Brooks now he's heading uh, now P3. Yeah, at least you will join the second race as we have a battle now between Danny and Diego Tom. Oh, and that goes wild, almost hitting the wall there. As Ben Hills and Fadil will use the push to pass, Josh will do Dom, Diego Dom, and Danny will also use it. This is the best camera I have now for to document their battle. Danny will try and make a move, stick it into the inside. He will have another, again, the inside here. He will try to stay and there he goes through and will take P4 from Diego Dom. It's such a pain that I cannot have any track views. As we head now towards a complicated part of the track where if you touch the wall you pretty much don't have any chances of staying on your place as Rete has just lost the place to Towa Peturbo and Kana has lost that place too so maybe they have there has been a little bit of contact there let's second uh, Fael who's two seconds away now from Ben Hees as Ben Hees will lead them towards the second corner now still on P1 Let's check it back on uh, Daniel, who's fallen, being followed really close by Diego Dom, and towards now the third corner. He goes a bit wide, but it will be clean enough. Oh, sorry about that. So yeah, overall it's looking really clean, there was some rough touches here and there, but overall, really really clean. Seems like Ben Hiss is also now using his push to pass as well as Fail, John, Josh Brooks, Danny and Diego Dom. So everyone will use their push to pass on the straight. Will Diego Dom try and make a move into the inside? 
looks like it's not gonna try it but Daniel goes wide maybe this will make a chance for Degodon to pass him now heading towards this slow corner to the left looks for it but it's not close enough as Daniel goes wide and into the wall they almost touch there but he keeps that position he's onto the inside defending now will be the outside and Degodon will make a cut back here He'll still stay on the inside and he will take the long way around and he almost touches the ball there but he did it really clean so Diodon is now up to P4 and will try and close in to Josh as he uses his pushed pass. So yeah, Ben Hiss will still take the lead on first place from Fayil, Josh Brooks, Diego Dom and Daniel. Ben Hiss who has been the first person to go under the 2 minute mark after the third lap of the race. As Josh Brooks seems to have closed in really really fast to Fayil, maybe he'll have a chance at this straight with push pass but Fayil seems to be struggling quite a bit he's doing some lines that might not be good enough for him to stay ahead of Josh so maybe Josh will try and make a move this is not the best place to make a move as Fayil will let the gap cease but Josh will not take advantage of it they both use push to pass but maybe with the help of slipstream Josh will make it through as they go side by side now they're heading towards the left corner will they touch they almost touch but Fayel still stays ahead but watch out for Digodon because Digodon will make a move onto Josh Brooks and he'll almost pass through they're still going too wide too wide sorry and they have little touches here there but he's still ahead but be careful because Josh has seen a gap there and he's almost went for it but overall Digodon will stay ahead of Josh right here and will take P3 but Josh now falling through the order now he has to defend from Daniel and uh, Sigurdon might oh and he touches with the wall this might be free free pickings from Daniel here as he goes side by side using another push to pass will Daniel try, uh, try to stay on the inside Beam is an app where you can buy streetwear from. You'll get some good prices and it's nice to, to check them out. You can use the QR codes there to go into their app store. If you go to the QR on the left. Oh, sorry about that. Uh, Daniel, which I hit onto the wall. Josh will try and make a move, but he touches with Daniel, and Daniel will also get touched there. That's not the greatest stuff though. So yeah, they are a streetwear, they're a streetwear shop. Yeah, oh, what's that? That's Fail. Why is Fail backwards? I just missed that. I'm sorry. No, don't go for the back. Don't go for the back. You might get Oh, what happened to Fayil? Fayil is just now last. Yeah, streetwear like uh, shoes and stuff like that. As Ani has to make the move on Josh. But it seems like Fayil ha might have made a mistake or ha might have been touched by Dildom. But I don't know. I just didn't see it. No, it didn't mean that. I meant street, street, streetwear. Ben Hiss will stay on the lead, heading towards the seven-minute mark left, plus one lap remaining. 
Will he be under two minutes? No, he won't. He won't be. This won't be the fastest lap he has ever set. Turbo Turbo now with his his fastest lap is catching up now to Josh Brooks and Daniel. So far we had some battles here and there. Diego Don who just rolls up to P2 after not having created the greatest start whatsoever. Now George is trying to catch up to Daniel, but he's not close enough. Him, he may be hoping for a, for Daniel to make a mistake. Although he's going really wide on those two corners there, and Daniel is going towards making a defending move here, but does not look like he's the best racing line there. And Daniel now has to be has to defend from Josh. Be careful without with touching between each other. Oh, that's a lag spike from George Brooks right there. And he might have a move inclining towards the last corner. He has a higher top speed heading towards now. But then he will hang him by. Looks like not. As he got on, will set a 59.9. Josh is still trying to overtake Daniel. Hey, now towards the chicane. Looks really clear so far. Daniel almost touches the wall there. This part should be flat out on this cars um, until this corner where you should break hard enough not to touch the inside wall. But Daniel seems to have problems in ter making turns. He's he's making some just just let's just say different lines. As uh, Joshua will try to make a move into the inside, but it won't be enough because he might have crashed into the wall there if he continued to do so. As they both will use push to pass, as Turbo Patrol will be actually closing in. He's almost a second and a half behind. Well, he is now. As that this will become a three-way top three battle. Yeah, Daniel does not look like he has the best setup so far. And uh, just will try and make a move heading towards the inside, and he will go past beautifully on the inside. But Daniel might have a cut back there. But Josh will defend the inside, and Daniel is still right behind him. Daniel trying to make a move here onto the inside. Will it be, they almost touch there, but it won't be enough. And that means that Toa Potowa will be closing in. Daniel goes wide again. I don't know why, what it is about it. Maybe he, his car has some problem trying to corner. Make the corners as Fail has lost a place to Costa. Yep, he has. And now Daniel has to defend from Toa Potowa. Who's trying to make a move into the inside but won't be close enough. He will try maybe a move now heading towards the first corner. But it's a bit too tight to make a move here unless you're really really close. Now heading towards the third corner. As Daniel seems to have some kind of problem trying to turn. It does look like compared to the other cars. He's understanding quite a lot as Towa Pato might try and make a move onto the inside. Now it will be the outside. And yeah, it looks like Danny has some major problems trying to turn. He can't turn compared to his to the other cars. 
here, although they are the same cars. Yeah, it seems like we are um, uh, we are missing some skins, some liveries that haven't made it through. As the track is now 100% grip, and Ben he is still on the lead with almost 6 seconds to the person in the behind, which is Diego Dom and it looks like he might take the W here oh and Diego Dom just crashed into the wall Diego Dom just crashed into the wall hard that might mean that Josh will be closer and closer to him he might have a chance now to get P2 here as he can see him right up there if Diego Dom commits another mistake, that'll mean the end for P2, or maybe they will he will end into a battle for P2. As this will be the second to last lap. Two laps left. And yeah, so some problems here for Diego Dom. He lost quite a bit of pace there. But overall, it seems like uh, it's still too far away for Josh to have an effect on him. As Danny seems to be catching up now. Uh, sorry, Danny. Yeah, Danny seems to try and catch up to Josh here. Uh, Josh was in some contact and lost quite a bit of time on the first laps. Yeah, basically. There have there have been some battles here and there. And Diego Dom has made some progress making up to P2. Oh, didn't see that coming from Tobo Potobo. Tobo Tobo made a move into the inside, but that meant Daniel had to go into the wall there. Sorry, didn't see that one. As uh, Daniel is going really, really wide. Yeah, it seems like Daniel has some problems. Was checking the the gaps here on the leaderboard, but didn't see anyone that close. Sorry about that. Uh, let me let me check. Uh, if you now we are on the final lap. Now we're heading towards the final lap. So if you hear this audio, now tell me straight through. Tell me in five seconds in chat if there is any delay. Like five, four, three, two, one. Tell me now if there is any delay. Tell me now. Tell me now. Yeah, for you there is no delay. Oh, it seems like there is there has been a contact between Canon and Fail. Oh, wait, hold on. Does Fail? Oh, it seems like yeah, there has been a contact between Fail and Canon. Maybe a bad move made by either of them. But hold on, why is Fail going so slow? Does he not have enough fuel? Okay, that's weird. Anyway, let's go back onto the battle for P4 as Tobo Putobo has not used his last push to pass. And then he might try and make a move. Oh, he's really, really close right now. He's on the outside here. Will he try and make it around the outside? No, he's not. Maybe try to switch back, but he's not close enough. As Fayul will enter the pit, and he does make a move now to the inside. Almost touching there. Still there though. But it's not close enough, as to as Fayul has just exited the pit. And Ben Hees will now take the win.
of today's race, first race. So congratulations to Ben Hines on the win of the first race of today. Let's go back to Danny and Topo Turbo. But it seems like Danny is too far away from Topo Turbo. Yeah, nothing BSC worthy. And that's gonna be it for the top five. Let's go now on to Redacted. Thank you, Daniel. Thank you, Arda. As Redacted will make it through. Almost crashes into charge. And Miguel Costa will end P7 from Cano. Who since who's had had a crash with Costa before. Who will end P8. Yeah, I don't think that was the best move by Turbo Paturbo. But don't fret, don't worry. Now we have another race left. We have now the second race of the day with the reverse grid. Let's go into the grid again. There we go. This is where the grid will stay. We have now another moment of wait time until we start the second race. I believe the f the race won't end on the until fail will uh never mind. Uh never mind, it should have ended by now. But it seems like Fayul still counting on a lap. On Monday Oh, uh the session just ended, now we are gonna wait time. Of a minute and a half, so Ben Hughes won that round, wa that race, followed by Diego Dom, Josh Brooks, Toby Paturbo, Danny Aridate, Costa, and Cano. On Monday, I'll be. Okay. On Monday we have an event, a special event. Apart from these two words meeting, we will have the race between the quiz and race event between ch the charge community and a set of friends. I will be a representative of a set of friends by luck. Yeah, pure luck, actually. Well, not pure luck. I had to do some quizzes. So... You cannot... Oh. Hopefully... Hopefully, Daniel. Hopefully. Now we are heading towards the grid, so Fayul will start in front of Cano, Miguel Costa, and Aridated. Sit slides coming up now. And lights out, and away we go. Great start from uh, Fayul right there. We'll take P1, stay p ahead. Sorry. Let's go and get an elbow camera, that's better. There we go. As it seems to go three wide, four wide at the back. I think that was uh, uh, Josh and, and Togo Topovo and company. But it seems like they all made it through, although to Josh has lost quite a bit of time. And Diodom is actually at the back. It seems like he had some problem. And uh, since he has crashed, let's go back on to ball with Josh Brooks right here. Who since oh a late dive from there from Daniel? Yeah, pretty much, probably. Uh, As now will try and make a move on Josh Brooks into the inside, and uh, he's now side by side with him, although he won't stay close enough. As they won't be using B uh, 
won't be using push to pass, although Redactin might have another say on this. No, sorry, that's Ben Heath who just passed. Oh, that's I redacted into the inside of Ben Heath right there, and Danny is still trying to make a move on Josh here as Tobu Tobu has to defend from Miguel Costa. Uh, oh wow, what a late move at the, but Costa there who has just overtaken Toba Potobo. Let's go and get a back view. There we go. As uh, Daniel Redate will go side by side here. Now Toba Potobo touches Costa in the back. Costa will defend the inside and Josh will get a better run at a better exit than Toba Potobo as they go three wide. Hand towards the last corner. Be careful not touching the wall then. That's cool. Uh, Josh will make a double overtake here if he can stick it. Oh, as they have a crash, Togo Potowa has ended the walls there, and Josh will take P2. Costa will lose the, pl lose the place to Nanier, or maybe he'll tank. Oh, a touch there from my Redate, I believe. Yes, it is. As they go three, side by side, almost three wide. As Ben Hiss will take the inside of Tobo Potobo. As Ben Hiss will go one into the wall. And Tobo Potobo one might try and make a move around the outside. Here we go. He's sticking it around the outside. Oh, don't turn in too early. Remember they have one guy in the inside. And ah, that's a crash on Danny right there. Seems like Danny had, may have a touch with the wall. Yep. Uh, here's Costa. And here's Danny who just lost. A lot of places there. Let's go back into the ball for P4. As Tabu Potobo touches with Ben Hees. Oh, and Ben Hees touches the wall. So many touch, so many touches today. So many bumps. As Cannon will try and make it into the inside. All of them are using push to pass. As Tabu Potobo seems to try and make a dive hole into Ben Hees. And it seems like Fayil, Josh, and Redata have escaped the battle for the battle for P4. Mm, Tobo Tobo might try and make a move here, heading towards the hairpin, although he's too far away. As Ka as I say that, Cannon's trying to make a move on Tobo Potobo. As the old Cannon and Costa touch the wall on the headset, be careful not to touch that inside wall because it will kill you. Not literally, I mean, it will not let you go through the corner, basically. So, it's now Fayil who's still in the lead, followed by Josh who's closing in quite fast, to be honest. As uh, he's followed by Redate, Ben Hees, Togo Potobo, Kano, Miguel Costa, Diego Dom, and Daniel at the back. Oh, it seems like Ben Hees has closed in quite a lot on Redacted right here. There we go. He has Redate on his sights. Redate might try to make some defensive moves as be careful with touching the wall into the inside again. That's another place where it's really hard to try and make an overtake because there's not that much room. As I said, that Diego Dom has to make a move on Costa on that same place, or, or Diego Costa has just made a mistake. Let's go back and develop for P3. As Redact is trying to defend the inside from Ben Hees, Ben Hees might try to make a move. Uh, he's not going to make a move here because he wants a better exit through this corner and get the push to pass use as they both use it. Since he's behind Redact, he will get the toe and towards this left hard 90 degree corner as he's trying to make a move into the inside. Does not have in almost enough room though. And Relato will stay ahead. Oh, what's that? That's Tobo Potobo trying to make a move, but goes too wide. Tobo Tobo will try to make a move again onto Ben Hees. But it seems like. Oh, Relato has gone a bit wide there. That make, look, make him lose a bit of time. Tobo Potobo is trying to make a move into the inside, but he's still too far away. Ben Hees is trying to still to make a move on Redacted, but be careful because Togo Potobo is really close. Sorry, is following, following 
behind really really fast as Sayu will set the fastest lap with a 58.8 as Iron Redacted will defend the inside Bane he's trying to make a switch back will not be in good enough now going around the outside towards the inside they both touch they go really really slow that means that Tugubuto will make it through and Redacted has lost two places now but be careful because Bane he's now has to defend from Tugubuto they both touch they both touch again and they're both going almost into the wall. They almost touched the wall there. <laughs> really nice battle between those two as Ben Hiss will let Redacted by. Oh! Redacted just crashed into Ben Hiss. Sorry, Tobo Tobo. As Tobo Tobo. No, sorry. Uh, Diego Dom? Was it? I just lost the memory of that. Uh, Sigurd will try and make him uh, his stay ahead of Tobu uh, Ben Hees. Sorry, I'm I'm just cutting out. As Ben Hees will try and stay ahead, but gets a bad exit. Tobu Tobu might try and make a move here too. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. He will try and make a move around the outside, but will not be close enough or good enough to make it there. Let's go on board now with Ben Heath, who's trying to catch up again to Diego Dom. And Cannon, who's up in P3. Josh Brooks is not closing in on Fahil, who's is ahead by almost 6 seconds. And uh, Stone Butobo seems to have a crash. Stone Butobo has seems to have lost um, a position to Daniel. And Daniel seems to have let him by. That's a sportmanship right there. As Diego Dom is closing in on Cano, they both use their respective push to pass. Diego, Diego, Diego Dom, yeah. Ben Heath will be closing in as well. It seems like this battle will be really good heading towards the last minutes of the of the second race. As Cano almost touches the wall, Diego Dom will get a better exit. We'll try and make a move around the outside. Now will be the inside. This is a uh, same move that made Ben his before the, the, the last lap uh, and before this lap sorry as they go we, they will go wheel to wheel now heading towards the chicane please make it through they almost make it through because Domin Diego Dom has crashed into the wall and then he will go by I think really much Cannon has to defend now from Ben his who seems to be really fast now He's using quite a lot of push to pass and he makes a move into the inside but whoa, that's just a bit Ah he crashes onto Diego Dom too Oh and he crashes also to Nania That's a bad move right there by Ben he is And Diego Dom is now last But be careful because now of course Dani has been overtaken by Redacted I uh, think Ben Hees was a fault there that was a bad move by him Although now Kano seems to be a bit too far away from Turbo Turbo to make a move. That should have been a BSC to be honest. And now Fahil will still stay ahead of Josh Brook who's almost 7 seconds between each other. As Redati has a bad edit and then he has to break. Never seen that happen before though. Uh, seems like Redat is struggling quite a bit now. Let's check on the battle for P3. Tobu Tobo is trying to catch up, meanwhile Ben Hiss is also trying to catch up to Tobu Tobo. I Redat is still a bit far away and Daniel is closing in really really hard on Redat. Seems like Tobo Tobo might have lost the place now to Ben Hees. Actually, Tobo Tobo seems to have made a mistake. And now Ben Hees has gone through. And there goes Daniel who's trying to make a move on Redacted. Meanwhile, at the front right there, that's Ben Hees trying to defend from Tobo Tobo. Redacted defended the inside. My sacrifice is speed. This is at its speed. Oh, it seems like a move from Togo Tobo there onto the inside. Now will be the outside. Maybe he'll try to switch back on Ben Hees. 
the almost touch but it's overall clean though right now he's now on the outside sorry in the inside of being he is but I don't think this is the best corner to make that kind of move they are still going side by side although now being he will stay ahead they both use their push to pass but he's still not close enough Oh, a late dive from Togo to Togo and he goes into the wall. Ben Hiss will go through, but now Ridate has a chance to make a move on Togo to Togo. Now Togo to Togo defend the inside and he will make a move into the inside. They go three wide and towards the corner and they touch Togo to Togo's around. But gets corrected by Danny. What a helpful. And uh, never mind, he gets touched again and he's lost the place. And Costa is trying now to make a move on Danny. This just suddenly blew up. And now Togo Putobo is making no, never mind, Costa is making a move on down here. Then when he will lose the place to Togo Putobo and Miguel Costa. No, Togo Putobo is still on the inside. But now Diego Dom is trying to make a move on Red Atted. And Dani has to defend from Togo to put up Togo Putobo. Togo Putobo is trying to make a move on the inside. Now they use their both push to pass. Dani will also use their push to pass to kind of try and catch up to Miguel Costa. Ah, uh, Stigodon has just overtaken Redate heading towards the last corner. Redate might not make, be close enough to make a move heading towards the first and second corner as Costa has now to defend from Togo Putobo and Daniel because these two are trying still battling though to avoid that last place. Be careful because Togo Putobo has been committing some mistakes throughout the chicane. Has been hitting the wall quite a few times. As Daniel will try to make a move but Miguel Costa is actually the one who has just touched the wall there. As Miguel Costa is still going a bit wide heading towards this kind of corners. But Dani will close in on Togo Putobo. He's still trying to make a move on this long right hander. They almost touch there. But oh he goes for a dive bomb. He's still on the outside there, still there, he will stay P8. As they still have more than three charges left, both of Togo Potobo and Daniel. Togo Potobo, oh, Miguel Costa has gone wide and crashed into the wall. Costa will now be last place. That's bad for him. As Daniel is still trying to catch up to Togo Potobo, still looking to make a move. But Togo Potobo overall is trying to make the car as wide as possible. Oh, I'm closing in right now, really hard on him. He's gone wide heading towards this last section of the track. Then he has run out of push to pass. As we're gonna head on to second to last lap. Togo Tobo gets a bad exit, although he gets bumped by Dani. Dani is trying to make a move into the inside, but Togo Tobo will defend the inside. If Togo to put Putobo makes a move here, it will count as a two moves on a straight and will not be legal. But he's staying on the inside there. Now will be still the inside. Now will be the outside as Daniel goes through. But Togo Putobo might try to make a cutback, but he's not close enough and has gained enough speed. And uh, it seems to be a battle between yeah, Kano and Ben Hees. Kano has just lost the position to Ben Hees. Seems to be going really slow. Maybe he's, he's trying to avoid to run out of fuel. Wow. <laughs> Everything seems to have settled. For now, let's see if anyone commits a mistake and loses his position on the last lap. As Fayul now is ahead by 10 seconds, so he has pulled a gap to Josh Brooks, who has pulled a gap to Ben Hees, who is just ahead of Kano. As Kano has to defend now from Diego Dom, Diego Dom trying to make a move to the inside as, he's, as he goes through. But Kano might try and get a back up back, but he's still too far away. So Diego Dom will go up to P4 as he's trying to catch up again to Ben Hees. 
As Costa seems to have a crash into the wall, the exit. At turn five. And he's gone back into the pits. Wow. Ooh, it seems like a miss uh position drop by Daniel Redate. Redate tried to make a move onto the inside of Daniel. Although he's a bit far away, he might try and make a move again to the inside here, but he's not close enough. And uh, who's that? that uh, that's October Perturbo. Oh, Digodon has seems to have a crash. Digodon seems to have a crash just now. That seems to be the exit of the chicane, so he might have touched them in the outside wall. As he has lost now the place to Dani and Redacted. Double Perturbo trying to make a dive bomb here. As he will try and make a move around the outside of, of Diego Dome. As he will try to stay. No, he's trying to make an overtake. They both touch. This is the final lap, by the way. And. We'll try and stay ahead. Domingo, Diego Dome uses his last push to pass. But Tobu Puto seems to not be using. Be careful with closing that gap, because that might become a penalty after afterwards if you don't have leaving out gap. As Tobu Puto will take Diego Dom's position, but Tobu Diego Dom is trying to make a move now to the inside, and he'll try to make it through. May have gone a bit too wide. Tobo Tobo now closing in and he's go oh, they both touch and Stobo as uh, goes into the wall as uh, Fayel just ended the race. No never mind, there's one lap to go left. As uh, Daniel has just overtaken Khan, I just missed that, sorry about that. As uh, Tobo Tobo has to steal the firm from Diego Dom. Yeah, there's still one lap left. They know the the check of flag. But overall, it seems like uh, Fayol will stay ahead by quite a bit from Josh Brooks. And oh no, it seems yeah, he has finished. Yeah, he has finished. So that was the end of the race as Redate crashes into Josh Brooks. Tobu Tobu will do the same too, but he's gone through, and Diego will end last. Well, second to last as he goes through the capital. They're all going through. What are they going? Okay. And that will be the end of today's race. So we shall now head towards the interviews. Let's see if I can get Fahil of because he won the first race. As Josh has been on the podium of both races. As it seems like my set of course I just crashed. Oh, there we go. Okay, so. Yep, that last race. Was won by Fahil. Let me check if I can get Fahil, or maybe I sh Let me try. Still trying to get someone to get interview, or oh, but since it doesn't come for the championship, think we're not gonna get any interviews. Yep, everyone's leaving, so yeah, I don't believe we're gonna get any 
interviews so that will be the end of today's stream hopefully you guys enjoyed it thank you very much for coming to us from this race of AF3 tomorrow we will get AF4 the last round of season 3 of AF4 a barring outer loop so that will be interesting lots of drafting will happen and the finale for AF Asia this Sunday on Bathurst so stay st uh, stay tuned and hopefully I'll see you guys tomorrow so thank you everyone for coming hopefully you guys enjoyed that race and see you next time bye bye